from Woody's sixth annual waterfront rod and custom car show. It's the in wheel time car talk show. Just to add another big shot at today's event. That'd be you, AJ. I said big shot. But he's not wearing a monitor. No, he's not right now. Jeff has the cruise in calendar and the events calendar, and we'll have the stories making automotive news headlines. Howdy, along with Mike out of this world, Mars. Yay. We always need more Jeff Zekin. Our chief engineer and freak show is Jeff, <laughs> is David Ainsley. I'm Don Armstrong. No, I'm not. <laughs> but uh, glad you could Don't join be. us at any at any rate. Have we seen them walk by yet? No, no. Okay, still. I'm looking. Here. All right, please do. Mike's on patrol. In the studio with us, the remote <laughs> studio, we have from the Good Grub and Gears Car Show and Fall Festival, the the man, the myth, the legend, the, Mr. the Mr. Know-It-All, Mr. Space City Corvette Club, and today he's not wearing those cut-off shorts like he usually does. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's A.J. Luke. Man, you are on fire this morning. <laughs> fire water. Some, and somebody's yeah. trying to put it out, and I, I, I'm trying to let them because it's... Is that, uh, is that coming from those funny little drinks y'all have right here on the well, front? Well, I'm probably the part, part of it. No. Yeah. Huh? Matter of fact, I'm, I'm trying to work on Jeff's half drink right. that he said, I can't drink anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll, I'll swallow this down while, uh, you're, do, while you're talking. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, I came to your show... Last year for the first time. That's correct. You, you sure did. And when we'd had these conversations before, you said, Don, you really need to come down there and check it out. I think you'll really like it. How many times have I heard that? I'm a car guy. We go to car shows all the time. You go to car shows. We all go to car shows. But I will tell you, that car show really impressed me. Well, thank you. And, and you know, it. granted, the cars are great. I love that. But, dude, the venue I, think I don't that's know. What, I, that's what does it. I, I I agree. I mean, it is probably one of the best venues ever. A beautiful park that's roomy enough to put a bunch of cars underneath those beautiful oak trees down there. Gazebo, and I keep thinking of Mayberry RFD. Huh. And I, I just it it's just a great setting and a great community. Love Friendswood. Everybody loves Friendswood. And um, at any rate, we're yep, looking we're, forward to your show. How, how many shows does this make? This will make twelfth uh, annual. Twelfth annual, which is hard to believe. If uh, it, it doesn't seem like it's been that long, but it uh, time flies when you're having fun. You've been uh, doing it since the beginning. Yes, sir. Yeah. Since the very beginning, put the first one on with the Corvette Club. With the Corvette Club, and, and it was kind of unique because we always did a, a our spring car show was always Corvettes only, and uh, I noticed that our fall car show twelve years ago was kind of like a redheaded stepchild. It just wasn't really. So I convinced them that let's just do an open class car show. Yeah. And uh, that's when the Good Grubbing Gears came about, and uh, we've been doing it ever since. And it uh, benefits Mr. Miller with Texas EquiSearch. And last year we had 253 cars when you came out there. And uh, we also raised $100,000 for Tim Miller, Texas EquiSearch. What a great. I hope he's going to be there. I want to meet him. He, uh, he should be there. Uh, he's usually there in the morning times uh, for a couple hours, and then he kind of just slips away. Yeah. But uh, I will make sure that we have him out there. Yeah, we would love to talk to him. By oh, way. yeah, absolutely. He's a, he's he's a star. He's, he's a living, living legend, yeah, he Mr. Is. Miller. He, he really started, he started uh, the, the search group uh, back uh, after his daughter died, and um, he's been after it ever since. And Forty years. Yeah. And it's that was hard to believe. A, a couple weeks years. ago, 40 years ago. Uh, it was, no, I think it was last month. It was 40, it was 40 years, yeah. which is hard to believe, too. Well, at any rate, let's talk about the cars. Sure. Uh, sponsored by Bayway Chevrolet. Um, we're going to be there. Um, and uh, thank you for inviting us to come down. Oh, there. absolutely. We appreciate I'm that. tickled to death to have you guys. It's yep. going to be a blast. Um, y'all y'all going to enjoy it. Who's Texas Splish Splash? Texas Splish Splash is a car wash detail uh, place there on NASA Road 1. It's okay. next to Mamacitas. They have a second location that's in Pearland. And Jim Everly, the owner, has always been a sponsor for... He's one of the Everly brothers? Well, he's not one of the Everly brothers. Everly. Oh, Everly. E- Everly. Uh, well, it e- depends B. on how many cocktails you've had. That's exactly right. Apparently, I need to have some of that down here. <laughs> here you go. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm good. I don't have any disease or anything. No, no, you're, okay. I'm good. You all right? No, but uh, yeah, so he's been a, spon- a long-time sponsor. Uh, let's see, Bayway Chevrolet, Excessive Racing, Creative Custom Classics, uh, Tent World, uh, Milwaukee Tools will be out there. Um, 
I'm trying to think who are some of our other bigger. We'll sponsors. be out there. Y'all are going to be out there. That's going to be the main attraction, right? Yeah, that's what it is. That's right. Either that or everybody's going to go, why did you invite them? I know, right? We could have had nice music. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I want to, I, you know, I was talking to Mike earlier. Uh, we're going to have y'all in the pavilion, which is going to be far away from the music. So I think it's going to be a great setup. Oh, good. Uh, it'll, it, it's, you'll like it. I'll, I'll walk it with Mike Pryor. We're going to like me. it or not. No, you're going to love it. Okay. It's going to be great. Appreciate it. All right, let's talk about the cars. What do you typically get down there? Obvious, you're going to get some Corvettes. A we, lot of Corvettes? We, we are going to get Corvettes, but I, I, you know, I hate to say it, but I want to see anything but a Corvette that day. <laughs> yeah. I want to see the Camaros, the Mustangs, the Cadillacs, the Lincolns, the Pontiacs. We, trucks, we love American-made. Yep. Absolutely. We love American made, but everybody's invited. Oh, yeah. We have then we could have something like this here at JDM. Yeah, we have an import class. We have 46 judge classes. So we've got imports. Uh, we've got uh, 46. 46 judge classes. So How they, ju- I hope you got a, a bevy full of judges. We do. Uh, and they, they'll who be are the judges? Them. They're uh, local guys. And uh, some of the guys from the Friendswood Spring Car Show help. Uh, and then some of our club members help, and then we have some outside long-time just car guys that are going to be there to help. You know, I'll never, I'll never forget the first time that I was asked to judge a show. I had no clue what I was doing. Yeah. Do you have classes for the judges that don't know what they're doing? We have a, uh, a judges meeting, and, and the guys that have been doing it, they've been doing it for a long time, yeah. so they, they know what to look for. Yeah. And, and it's largely in part based on cleanliness. You know, if you come out with two cars that are identical and one of them's dirty and the other one's not, well, guess which one's going to win. Yeah, exactly. You know, you know it's funny because uh, back in the day when I started doing all this stuff a long time ago, um, there was no real classes for a judge. Right. You knew somebody at the show that happened once a year, and it all kind of lined up. You knew what you were looking for. There was a certain segment of cars that showed up. But when you have an open car show like this. Right. It's all different kinds and classes, and you have to have just a general knowledge of what you're looking for. Are the gaps the same? Are the gaps close? Uh, What's the paint like? What's the attention to detail? How do the door jams look? What's under the hood? How does the engine presentation look? Are the hood springs clean? It's stupid stuff like that that divides a good car from a not-so-good car. Right. Exactly and right. as long as you're aware of things like that, for the most part, unless you get to some high-end Pebble Beach thing, right. then you're going you're gonna to make it do. Oh, yeah. And some of these guys that are really high-end, that's what they do for a living. Mm-hmm. And um, you, I give them credit. I mean, what a great job that would be. Right. But I, I would be scared to, drive to, well, scared to death to drive those kind of cars. Yeah, though. well, uh, I mean, there's that, yes. Yeah. All of those usually are trailered in. Yep. That's but true. Um, yeah, and we do I, have some of those. That, that yeah, and 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 I, listen, I have a respect for that because at one time I had a car that I trailered, and uh, I swore I'd never do that again. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've got a car. I've got a '72 Pontiac Le Mans Sport GT convertible. It'll be out there. Is that a trailer car? Uh, it's not a trailer car, but it it, it it is, if that makes sense. I don't yes. trailer it, but I drive it. But I just drive it local. And I think the last time I drove it was for this car show, and I didn't even take it. And you don't. And you I don't even drive it. In. And you don't drive it. On rainy days. No, no, sir. Not what an absolute nightmare it is to clean up after you've driven it on a rainy street. It's hard to keep them clean without getting them on the road when that's they, right. they've been rained yeah. on, so yeah. for sure. Yeah, that's uh, it's just a lot of work. Are you thinking of something else right now? What's that? Are you thinking of something else right now? Well, no, I was just thinking that. You uh, were thinking. Yeah, which is a problem sometimes. <laughs> if y'all smell something, that's what it is. Yeah. But if you, if you wanted more information on the car show, you can go to secc.info, and you can register your car, and you can also make a cash donation. And like last year, uh, Space City Corvette Club is matching all cash donations up to 20000 Did he Did he, did he change the subject? He changed the subject, didn't he? And we also have it on our website. Are you? Yes, are you I been, think Mars is talking been. over here, David. I think he's yeah. off again. Yeah, yeah. It, I, it needs to be. I was going to say that the information, you can't register on our website, but it will take you to take your you. website. Okay. We yeah. have information on there. Thank you. If We've you done all sorts first. of magic for you. Good. Thank you. Yeah. It's greatly appreciated. Yeah. All goes to a good cause. You now, know, is, I, is it pre-registration? Yes, sir. Pre-registration. And we prefer that because the day of, it helps the ladies at the registration So table. much going on the day of. Oh, it is. It's insane. From the time that thing gets started to the time it ends. And I always tell people, I'm, I'm not only the president, but I'm the car show director. So when the car show is over and the awards are done and people are driving off, my job's not done. And you, 
and you volunteered to do this? Well, it's have from, you lost your mind? Well, you know, a you, would think, you would think a long time ago I did, and, and I and it really kind of got into it by mistake. Uh, our former it's president, how that works? It, well, it really is. He uh, <laughs> he he said they needed help, and I'm in the general meeting, and I'm like looking around, and nobody's like raising their hands. So like I was in class, and I raised my hand. I'm like. <laughs> see, see, me, see me after the meeting. What do you need? And he tells me what he needs. So I just went down to Libby. I'm like, okay, I can take care of that. I can do that. I no, can do no, that. all of that's yours. Yeah. So then next thing I yeah. know, they give me this appreciation plaque in, at the membership meeting. And I was touched by that. Yeah. So in I'm like, head, you know what? Yeah. I think these guys need some help. So that's when I kind of jumped in. But I didn't just jump in a little bit. I jumped in head first. And uh, that first car, that first car show for Good Grubbing Gears, we raised eighteen thousand for St. Jude's, and we had one hundred forty three cars. So it broke all of our previous records, and then it's just continued to grow you from there. You did such well, a yeah. good job. We're going to reward you yeah, by exactly. letting you keep doing it. Yeah, we're going to keep letting you do it for free. So tw- uh, twice nothing is still nothing, right? Yeah. 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 But I, it's, it's, the, it's the platform I use to give back because well, I think we're you, better served when we and serve I, And I know that you appreciate the fact that you wouldn't have guys come back and want to be in the show again if you didn't do it right. Exactly. Because you know how it works. Oh, yeah. If it's a bad show. And things don't go, you don't have to win, but just do it the right way. Right. If you do it the right way and you don't win, I got appreciation for that. But if you have do it the fun. Wrong, yeah, yeah, if you do fun. it the wrong way, and it just is bad. Absolutely. So, you know, I saw Tim Spell here. Do you know Tim Spell? I can't Tim's, say that. Tim I do. Spell uh, is a is uh, Ford fab, fabulous uh, oh, writer, uh, automotive writer. Oh. He used to be uh, with the Texas Auto Writers Association, where Mike and I met him. He used to write for the Houston Post. And so every time that there was a Houston auto show, he would write the insert in the Sunday paper, the whole thing, which is probably 15, 20 pages worth. Wow. He would write the whole thing. A very talented guy. He lives down here. Okay. And somewhere, as he hasn't gone home to take a nap, uh, he, <laughs> he's, he's wandering around here. Great guy. You need to get to know him. Do you need an ankle monitor? He probably does. Is there does. one for sale? There's one behind you. No, they're giving them out free. Yeah. They're free monitors. I'm yeah. bad. I'm, I'm bad. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> David's got it. David's always got us covered. Uh, yeah. Thank God for David. <laughs> okay. So I look forward to having you guys out there next week. Yeah. 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 Well, you say that now. This show's not yeah, over I, I, with yet. I, yeah. Well, have, you, have we have we created a little bit of doubt in your mind? No. Nah. nah, come on, just a little bit? A lot. A no. lot. <laughs> no. We created a lot of doubt in his nah, mind. It, yeah, yeah. It, worst case scenario, we're going to have fun. It's it, it, are there some guys down there that we know? Hopefully some cars that we haven't seen yet. Oh, I'm sure there's going to be some cars out there you haven't seen. Um, you know, when you talked about Corvettes, we'll have uh, the 53, which is production number 32. It'll be there. We'll have the first V8 Corvette. Is it white? It's white. Yeah. They were all white. The yeah, first I know. 300, That's all why white. I'm asking. Yep. Yes, sir. And then uh, we'll have the first v8 corvette which is a uh it's yeah, 55 it's, it's harvest gold looks it's like, like oh, a I've pale yellow with the yeah, green yeah. and uh actually showed got it to down drive there at galveston oh yeah there's Couple. pictures we that's one of the pictures we put up on ours right i actually got to drive that car three weeks ago to a gala and i was like holding my breath praying to god that <laughs> nobody was hits ha- it yes i'm like don't yeah. even sneeze look this way yeah. right but when we got to the event i know the owner real well and and he doesn't mind people like taking pictures so all the ladies were in these you know evening gowns taking pictures with the car it was nice it was priceless we had we had two we had a new one and the 55 and everybody went over to the 55 <laughs> Absolutely. Like, the, like the new one anymore. yeah you can see the new one anywhere yeah yeah exactly yeah. so and then uh I, I'm, I'm hoping he's going to be there. It's a 67 Tornado. Y'all have seen the car. Yeah. Uh, John Harden with Creative yep. Custom Classics yep. did the car. It was one of George Barris's. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, been, out here. Here. Yeah. he's we, been out here. He's been out here. We had yeah. him on the air last year. Yeah. He was By the way, I have, a, I have a request. Sure. So if, I, if you can get the, my Corvette in a place that I can get out of there after the show. We can do that. I mean, like, in other words, like, you could just take off whenever you want to leave. No, before, no, before after, show, after this after show. After this show. After oh, this show. Packed up and stuff instead of waiting until when, 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 are the, when are the awards? Awards are at three, but if you guys get where, where I'm going to put y'all, y'all can pack up quietly and just drift can I away. Put the car, yes, sir. Can I put my car by us? Sure. Okay. Absolutely. All right. We'll, then we'll, I'll bring we'll the car. Good. Uh, you've been, I, now, I, you've I, been, now, you've been promising that for 12 years. <laughs> so... I am not going to hold my breath. But if you do, I will be – I might go into car and right. arrest. I don't well, know. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, there's that. So uh, my, that's my plan. Okay. 
Um, and even if it rains, as long as it's not raining, no, drive we, it there. Don't even say that word out loud. I know, no, I it's, know. It's going to be like this. This is, this is what we have ordered when we go on remotes. There you go. Well, if, if that's the case, it's going to be like ants to a picnic. It's going to be great. Beautiful. All right. Yeah. That's the way we like it. Well, thanks Keep for stopping up. by and talking Guys, to us. Guys, thank you all very much for everything. Look forward to having you all. Hope Love I your brother. Take care of it. Good gub and gr- good gub and good. greers. Yes, sir. Yeah, car show and fall festival. By there golly, go. it's going to be Saturday, October twelfth. Go to inwheeltime dot com. We got a link to get yourself registered and, and find out more information. And the first twenty five people get an ankle monitor. There <laughs> <sighs> you go. All right. Uh, we'd love to hear from you, and I want to remind you also that the In Wheel Time Car Talk Show is coming to you live from Woody's Waterfront Rod and Custom Car Show and Topwater Grill, San Leon, Texas. You can get a hold of us anytime. Address is info at inwheeltime.com. Let's take a break, shall we? Yep. Back after this. The original group of Loopy Tortilla Restaurants will have you telling your family and friends just what the original recipe means when it comes to the best fajitas in Southeast Texas. Founder Stan Holt invites you to visit the first Loopy Tortilla near I-10 and Highway 6. Here is the original house that inspired the design of all the rest and the original charm that helped make Loopy Tortilla the go-to destination for Houston Tex-Mex. Nothing can compete with the original lime pepper marinade that everyone will agree makes Loopy Tortilla award-winning beef fajitas the best anywhere. Loopy Tortilla Katie's another location that gives you the same quality and service Houstonians have come to expect at Loopy's. It's located on 99 the Grand Parkway at Kingsland Boulevard in Katy. Find yourself in Aggie Land? Head to the Loopy Tortilla in College Station. Located just around the corner from Kyle Field, it's a great place to enjoy those famous frozen margaritas before or after the game. Going to Louisiana? The Loopy Tortilla in Beaumont is on I-10, so you can't miss it. The original group of Loopy Tortilla restaurants has the best Tex-Mex anywhere, and you're invited anytime. Your car is a direct reflection of you, so don't be satisfied with color fade or a dingy, dull appearance. Get rid of those terrible automated car wash scratches. Gulf Coast Auto Shield is your save-the-paint company. John Gray and his team of detailing experts can help your cars finish without a full repaint. Searching for the real experts in window tint or windshield protection? Gulf Coast Auto Shield. Dash cams, radar detectors, Gulf Coast Auto Shield. Got a new car? Get that thing protected as soon as you take delivery. If you don't know which of the multitude of protection products to go with, John Gray will give you an honest opinion and won't sell you something you don't need or can't afford. John will help you understand the many options and pricing right on the spot. He's your guy to have your ride looking its best and protected, too. See the state-of-the-art shop yourself. Free tours anytime. Gulf Coast Auto Shield is easy to get to. Located just south of the Southwest Freeway on the Sam Houston Parkway. Gulf Coast Auto Shield. Full-service luxury car care today. And online at gcautoshield.com. What? All right. uh, uh, did I do something wrong? No. Okay. Welcome back to the In Wheel Time Car Talk Show. Uh, it's time now for the Cruise In and Events Calendars. Okay. And Jeffrey Zekin has those. I have that right here. Now, we're all at San Leon down here, so that's going to be a, a, a wonderful event. If you're not down here, you're missing it. It's really, really cool. So we've got Galveston County Cigars Lions Club Car Show. That's coming up next Saturday from 8 to 2 p.m. Uh, they're trying to raise about $5,000 uh, for seeing eye dog programs uh, in, to include the Astros uh, organization as well. That's at Walter Hall Park. Uh, you enter the north entrance in League City. That goes from 8 to 2 next Saturday. Uh, you've got the Fall Open Car Show. That takes place October 5th, uh, coming up next weekend in Spring, Texas. Registration is from 9 a.m. to 11.30. Uh, and the awards start that afternoon about 2 p.m. That's at 2043 Interstate 45 North in Spring, Texas. And then you got a Sunday event, which is the Halloween Classic Car Show at the National Museum of, of Funeral History. So it's going to be a pretty quiet event. <laughs> uh, takes place October 5th uh, from 10 to 3, and attendees are encouraged to dress up and bring a trick-or-treat bag for the kids for a trunk or treat. I don't, I'm don't. i already dressed. All right, cool. And then, of course, you've got uh, this going on right now, and then we've got some stuff coming up with the Corvettes that we talked about. Oh, we got the Good Grub. Good Grub. Good and Gears grub Car and Show. You good, got, good you got grub. that, you you have have that, that? one right there. Yeah, we just did that. Okay, good. Cool. All right. By the way, we are at Topwater Grill. The address is 815 Avenue O for, oh, oh, in San Leon, Texas. Avenue O. No, not Leon. It's Leon. 
Uh huh. <laughs> uh, so uh, this show goes until four o'clock this afternoon. If you're looking for something to do, come on down. Got some great looking cars here. If you want to show your ride, bring it on down here. I think thirty bucks will get you in. You can be in competition. Yeah, bring your car. It's thirty bucks. If what did you say, Mars? I said if you bring your car and enter it, it's thirty bucks. But if you just want to come and take a look, it's free. Come on, yeah, we down. always like looking. I do too. Are you sure? Yes, sir. I got those glasses that had the little mirrors. <laughs> yeah, you got you got the yeah. you got those uh, X-ray glasses that yes. you bought online or from or from uh, the back of the comic book. Yeah. Biden administration's proposed ban on Chinese connected car technology Mm-mm-mm. could prove its strongest weapon yet to fend off an onslaught of cheap chap- chap- Chinese electric vehicles. <laughs> those two <laughs> that has upended the global auto industry. The ban on hardware and software announced September 23rd by the U.S. Commerce Department is the administration's latest salvo, that is the laundry detergent, isn't it? After imposing 100% tariffs on Chinese EVs and denying a $7,500 consumer EV subsidy to any vehicle with made-in-China components. Ow! Unlike those measures, the connected car tech prohibition would apply even to cars built by Chinese companies outside China, such as in Mexico or Europe where they're planning factories. Few Chinese-made vehicles are currently sold in the U.S., and none from Chinese brands yet. Uh, Monday's action aims to keep it that way by closing loopholes, according to U.S. commerce officials. Yikes. That, that's pretty heavy-duty stuff there. Yep. We're talking about billions and billions of dollars. Okay. Um... You know, the steel industry industry is kind of shaky right now, especially here in the United States, because of the impending sale of the big steel company US up steel. there in, yep. uh, in Pittsburgh. Well, the U.S. auto industry is a keen self-interest in ensuring continued supplies of steel, one of the industry's most vital raw materials and the substance at the heart of what in other times would be a relatively uncontroversial proposed acquisition of U.S. steel by Nippon Steel. According to the Washington Post, reporting in early September, the Biden administration was preparing to block the $14.9 billion acquisition on national security grounds, despite the fact that Nippon is headquartered in Japan, one of the nation's staunchest and most important allies, and has its own long history of operating in the United States. Nippon's proposed acquisition is opposed by the United Steelworkers. Wisely, the Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States, which by law must review the proposed acquisition, extended its review period by another three months on September 21st, meaning no decision will be made until after the November 5th election. So that's the thing that's all up in the air and uh, got a lot of people really nervous. It impacts the automobile industry, the building trades. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's you got we to know. think about. The fallout. Yes. <sighs> are we? Are we? Are done we keeping with you awake? Are we done with the show yet? No, not no, yet. No, we got not two yet. more hours. Stellantis is laying off 200 workers at Sterling Heights Assembly in su- suburban oh, Detroit where it builds the Ram 1500. The total includes all of the plant's 177 temporary workers, which Stellantis calls supplementals, and 14 full-time employees. Stellantis says the supplemental employees were seasonal workers hired to support production by covering for increased vacation usage during the summer months. Sure. Yeah. They'll be separated from the company, effective October 1st, in accordance with the 2023 UAW Collective Bargain Agreement, according to the company. Full-time worker layoffs go into effect September the 28th. Man. Hmm. And it just continues with Stellantis. In August, Stellantis said it would indefinitely lay off as many as 2,450 workers at the nearby Warren Trunk Plant, that's Truck Plant, as it ends production of the Ram 1500 Classic Pickup, to focus on the Jeep Wagoneer SUV. Let's see. That's a mistake. How many Wagoneer SUVs as opposed to the classic Pick Ram 15 are they making? My guess is they're making a lot more of the classics because they use the classics as work trucks. It's last model's model. Right. Not the current one. 
and they're making money off of it. Why wouldn't you continue to build it? Well, they need the pickup trucks to continue making Hellcats that you sell every one of them. Well, they don't, they're they going to give everybody a pickup truck I'm so saying. they can clean their desks out. And they can load up all their stuff. To this load. guy's going to be fired. Yeah. The CEO? Yeah. I thought I read something that they were already looking for another they CEO. Are. But the excuse is, is that, oh, well, we do that every two years anyway. It's a review. Horse hockey. How does that review yeah. work? Tell me. Yeah. That guy is out. You kidding? That's how all Ser- the people that's how Sergio that- stayed there, what, 20 years or something? Another? Yeah, every two years. My butt. Mm-mm-mm. I don't want to see that. No. Every two years, I'll even. I'll show you. No, I know you will. And by the way, for all of us AM radio fans, of which there are a few left, but still some, here's a story for us. The AM radio for every vehicle act has advanced. After a U.S. House panel voted on September 18th to move it along, Buster. Move it. The bill first reported to the U.S. Senate in September of 23 requires the Department of Transportation to mandate that all new passenger vehicles include devices for accessing AM broadcast stations. Mm -hmm. Vehicles are increasingly produced without first-generation radio broadcast technology. And advocates for AM radio argue it is essential for reaching people in weather emergencies. Some also say AM radio fills a unique cultural role as a longtime home for sports broadcasts and talk shows. Hello. (laughs) I listen to AM radio all the time. I listen to FM as well. But I listen to both. So unless you're going to put all that stuff that's on AM over on FM, I need AM. As a matter of fact, I drove a car. I'm not going to tell you what it was. I'll tell you when it's time. But I drove a car that did not have AM. I was ticked. Did you? I did. It may be on HD. But can you get the HD in the car? Not on all cars. So there's that. So don't go messing with what I got. All right. Now how are we looking? I think we're looking. Oh, good. I, I got he's time. Gonna, he's going to make you balloon hat So the, the Stellantis conversation now is going to continue, Mars. <laughs> Yo. Stellantis chairman John Elkan Uh-oh. has started a search for a successor to CEO Carlos Tavares. Yeah. Wasn't there a boy band named Tavares back in the day? I don't whose know. contract runs out in early 2026. The automaker confirmed the decision in response to questions from Bloomberg News, adding that it's part of regular succession planning. B.S. Pressure on Tavares is rising due to Stellantis' poor performance in markets, including the U.S., its biggest single profit pool. <clears throat> in the U.S., the Jeep and Chrysler maker is struggling with high levels of inventories, quality issues, and declining market share. Company stock has slumped more than one third this year. Ow! Yeah. So, with that in mind, it's time now for a quick break. We'd love to hear from you. Just shoot us an email. The address is info at inwheeltime. Dot com. More of the In Wheel Time Car Talk Show after this quick break. Pro-Am Auto Accessories has been serving Houston's auto enthusiasts since 1984, providing world-class products for sports cars, European sedans, and American muscle. Pro-Am is known as the place to go to find exclusive and hard-to-find parts and accessories. Pro-Am is one of the very first distributors in the USA for brands such as Recaro, Redline, Momo, Corbo, and Simpson. Located in the heart of Houston's premier retail and service corridor, the Galleria area, Pro-Am's walk-in storefront includes an 8,000-square-foot warehouse, showroom, and installation bays. Pro-Am not only sells parts and accessories, but also offers installation and service. Pro-Am is now reaching a worldwide audience through Pro-Am.com, taking its local reputation to the rest of the world. At Pro-Am Auto, you'll be dealing with a small group of professionals who truly want to help you with your automotive needs. If you don't see what you're looking for on the website, call and Pro-Am will lend you a hand. Pro-Am Auto, 6125 Richmond at Green Ridge in Houston's Galleria area. Call them at 713-781-7755. The In Wheel Time Fall Tour begins Saturday, September 28th at Woody's 6th Annual Waterfront Rod and Custom Car Show. There'll be awards for Best Truck, Rat Rod, Import, Paint, Engine, Interior, and Best of Show. It happens at the Topwater Grill in San Leon, Texas, where the backdrop of Galveston Bay will be one for your car scrapbook. Registration is $30 per car on site. Visitors are free 8 to 4, Saturday, September 28th. It's Woody's 6th Annual Waterfront Rod and Custom Car Show at Topwater Grill in San Leon, Texas. 
The In Wheel Time Fall Remote Tour continues Saturday, October 12th from 8.30 to 3 at the Good Grub and Gears Car Show and Fall Festival hosted by the Space City Corvette Club. See up to 300 cars under the trees in beautiful Stevenson Park in Friendswood. Competitors register online. Proceeds benefit Texas EquiSearch. Showgoers are free and will see all makes and models of the finest rides around at this judged event. It's Saturday, October 12th, 8.30 to 3 at the Good Grub and Gears Car Show and Fall Festival at Stevenson Park in Friendswood. The In Wheel Time broadcast is sponsored by Emmons Autoplex on FM 528 near the Gulf Freeway in Webster.